Let me just open real quick, Michael, and just say that, you know, obviously these decisions are not easy decisions to be made. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of input from a lot of different people. Um, you know, we, we were waiting as long as we could to make this decision, and it came this morning after talking to NC State and their officials and uh, meeting with their officials down there about their emergency response teams uh, of, of, of the, uh, not having the game this Saturday. Um, so obviously the release came out indicating that, um, you know, I think first and foremost is the safety and welfare of our student athletes uh, going into that type of situation for their athletes and more importantly of the citizens of North Carolina and what they're going to be facing here in the next four or five days uh, was very important to, to, to be able to release uh, hotel rooms uh, that fans had, uh, give the ability for those evacuating the coast areas to come inland. Um, so gave more uh, time and, and relief from that aspect. And that's why a decision was made uh, early this afternoon. All indications from their weather people is the storm is intensifying. It's moving directly towards the, the coast of North Carolina. Things haven't changed in that matter. It's only intensifying. So that was uh, the need to, to make the call today. And I'll open up for questions. So th is there any chance this game will be made up this season? Really, Greg, we didn't really get into a whole lot of uh, options. Looking at our schedule, um, you know, it, it's going to be very difficult. Uh, I will tell you, looking at our dates, October 20th, I will not be scheduling a game on our off week. Anybody that knows football, knows I'm not going to play a game on Saturday, turn back around to play a game on Thursday night. Um, so that, that's not an option for me. Um, I'm trying to help our coaching staff and our student athletes be prepared each and every week, and that would not allow them to do that, especially with the opponent having a week and a half to prepare. Um, you're going to ask the question about December 3rd. December 3rd, I plan on being in Dallas. Could you play the next Saturday? The next Saturday, I think it becomes irrelevant. Bowl games are already chosen, everything. Why are you playing the game just to play it? Um, you know, our resume, I think, as an as a institution um, speaks for itself. Um, you know, with what we have already have, you know, if we are fortunate enough to continue playing and continue playing through the Big 12 championships and have a chance to win the Big 12 championship, we would have uh, 11 wins against Power 5 institutions and one game against an FCS institution. Anybody else in the talks of the college football playoff, I don't think they'll have even that type of resume without playing uh, this game. Possible to have a return date in the future year? We didn't get into that. Obviously, we have a contract. The contract says that we would go there this year. Um, obviously, that's uh, not going to happen, but they are scheduled to play here next year. Was there any discussion about the, the, the logistics of maybe flipping the home and home uh, to, to move it here? Yeah, but the, you know that again, logistics. I mean, you're trying to sell sixty thousand tickets. You don't have food for the concessions areas. You don't have the emergency response people on on the books ready to go. Um, it's a lot more difficult than it sounds logistically to make things happen that way. Um, you know, there was some schools that I had talked to that are in similar situations this week. I talked about similar type of situations, and we'll play the game without fans. I'm not playing a game without fans. Um, so, you know, this was the, the option, and then trying to, to have it here just as logistically was, uh, it, it just could not happen. Is that the same? those same problems what applies to trying to find another site and if you did so with the cost of paying for another stadium to use it for example just take it out of the bounds yeah, i mean trying to find another site at that point um, again it was their home game so it was more their responsibility than than ours but you know again you know where you're looking you're not looking in north carolina the entire state um, you know the option could be come here but it just again it was not just going to be feasible logistically just to make that happen and then, you know, let's face it, you know, let's look at next year. It's not about this year. If we flip-flop, next year only have five home games, then starting out I had to have three, two of the three would be going to Missouri, going back to NC State, and starting out with James Madison at home. And then you get into the Big 12 schedule. So it's not a matter of just looking in a vacuum of let's flip-flop a game. It's a matter of looking at your future schedule. And again, making sure that as an institution we're prepared, you know, from a scheduling standpoint, uh, 
to be able to win football games. Shane, um, I understand this is way down the road, but could you play could you play this home game, their home game, in the future just to fulfill that? It could be, I understand, like 2024, but just for the, the purpose of fulfilling the contract? Well, I mean, as far as I'm concerned right now, I, just, I fulfilled the contract. I was planning on going there. I wanted to go there. We did everything within our power to go there. So, you know, the, the, the contract reads we were going to go there and they would come back here. We'll look at it. I think it's a good game for us in NC State. Again, I think their fans were excited. I was told that, um, you know, they, their, their fans from a ticket sales standpoint was uh, very close to when Notre Dame visited there several years ago. Uh, maybe it's big games because it seems like every time there's a big, big game there that a hurricane comes through. Uh, they experienced it three or four years ago. I can't remember the exact date where they had, I don't know how many inches of rain they tried to play uh, North Carolina during that, or North Carolina, tried to play uh, Notre Dame during that time. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's something I think from an opponent standpoint, Mike, we will continue to, to, to look at in, in future schedules. If I look out my years, you know, going out, of course, I have Virginia Tech on the schedule, Maryland, I got Pitt, Penn State. Um, you're looking at least 25, 26 before um, any, you're adding additional power fives to, to a schedule. So do schools have insurance for lost revenue in these type of situations? I can't speak for NC State specifically, I'm assuming, but yes, we have um, you know, loss of uh, revenue, insurance, and, and to be looked at. Have you ever dealt with this type of situation before? And if not, where did you draw on to sort of work through it? Um, not directly from an athletic director's chair, but being in the conference office for 10 years um, at the ACC, um, having a number of schools that were in uh, the footprint for hurricanes and dealing with the, the Miamis, the Florida States, the North Carolina schools, uh, yes, so we've had many, many situations where you looked at the opportunities to uh, play a game and not play a game, and first and foremost comes the, the safety and well-being of the citizens of that state as well as our student athletes. Jim, I'm just, Go ahead. I'm, sorry, yeah. I'm yeah. assuming this contract was a you get so much to cover your travel expenses this year. NC State gets it next year, and you each do your home. Is that standard yeah, I sort mean, of contract? You, so you don't have to foil the contract. There was a three hundred thousand dollar payment they were paying us, and vice versa next year cover the expenses in them. So we would we were getting three hundred thousand dollars to go there next year when they come here. They, we give them three hundred thousand dollars. I know you can't speak for them, but is that part of the talks, the things that y'all try to work out? I would guess they're going to look at it a little bit and say, hey, you're getting the bigger financial benefit out of this if you just look at it as the contract is, you know, completed. Well, I mean, if, and I'm assuming, Kevin, they have, they have game contract. I mean, they have uh, insurance for, for that game, a loss of revenue. So, you know, we each know basically what our numbers are for a game that you would happen to lose. So they're not, you know, if they have it, which I'm assuming, I'm speaking for them, that they would be able to, to, to look at that as an institution. Shane, does, does TV even reach out to you guys and, and try to compel or, or try to, to push for a makeup date, or are they just letting you no, guys No, I did not it? have any. I can't speak for, for NC State. I did not have any discussions uh, with TV. Obviously, it was their home game, um, so it would be more with the home team. Um, and again, I know they had conference calls uh, with the conference office because you had North Carolina and Central Florida playing in Chapel Hill, which that game is also uh, not going to be played. Um, I just read before coming over here that Boston College plays at Wake Forest on Thursday night that's been moved to a 5.30 kick now uh, to try to get ahead of the storm uh, in Winston-Salem. And, you know, I, I think there were some other games. You had uh, Clemson playing at home. I'm not sure where, you know, what there, that stands from weather. Um, you still have Virginia Tech, I believe, is hosting Marshall. Um, if you have Virginia playing at home. Um, so you have a number of schools in the ACC that could be dealing with uh, some issues from a TV or playing standpoint still. And if it's a conference game, you have to find a way. If it's non-conference, I guess. It's it's, I, I think it's simpler when it's a, and not a conference game for, you know, from that. But when it's conference, obviously, it plays a bigger part in the standings and you know, in their specific leagues and divisions. And you 
said you wouldn't play without fans and move it here and play without fans. What if ESPN had said, asked you to do that? The same, the answer would still be the same. 